bubble opens up, I'm gonna put myself up for trouble. Okay? Um, so always keeping this tight. So next we're gonna go over to dress jump. I think I actually showed this here either last year or two years ago maybe. Um, but super, super effective. If you guys ever watch Sarah Hillerbrand Russell or who Sarah Hillerbrand is, maybe. Okay, girls, you guys know who Sarah Hillerbrand is. Uh, multiple time world medalist, Olympic medalist. Uh, she's one of my college teammates. We actually see her do this move a lot. But she's been the best girls in the world with it. Um, from you know, college national champions all the way up to other world medalists. And she's really effective. And again, it's a high percentage move. I'm not making, you're not taking a huge risk, but I'm putting myself in a position to score. And in the case of freestyle, putting the four point move in a freestyle workflow style, giving myself a chance to pin. Um, but again, taking a high percentage move into a 100% chance move. So again, same exact setup. Make sure we're setting this up the same way every time. Call her wrist, get it snapping. And I set this up exactly the same way again, where I'm taking my left leg or whatever my trail leg is and I'm opening myself up. Okay, I'm almost creating or, or, or cutting perpendicular with them. I don't have to be squared up in, for these moves. Okay, I can open my hips up and be perpendicular, and I'm in a sprinter stance. Okay, my feet are kind of staggered a little bit. I don't want to step back here. Okay, I'm not stepping back and still square. Okay, I open my hips up all the way. Okay, now again, this head is in front of my chest. I can see the back of his head right in front of me if I look down. This time though, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Instead of having my shoulder on his back, I'm going to change my level and drop my shoulder below his collarbone. If I stay above it for this one, when I try to do dresser dunk, I'm going to be kind of blocked out and he's in my way. Okay, yeah, so this time I change my level, my shoulder drops below his collarbone. This hand is still on the arm, pinching and tight. I'm going to reach behind his knee with the hand that's on the chin. A lot of people here want to come outside the knee from the armpit hand. It's not right. I'm coming chin behind the knee, and at the same time that I reach, I'm also stepping with that same side leg. I'm not stepping outside here because I'm going to get extended, okay? Same side leg, same side arm, steps and reaches here. Notice also, I'm stepping in front of his toe line. If I step between his feet, I'm going to get all tangled up here. Okay, so imagine there's a line that goes like, right over the front of his toes. I'm stepping in front of that line. Okay, his head still in front of my body here. Now when I'm ready to go, I'm going to keep pinching. I'm going to run my feet, uh, run my feet on that same 45 degree angle. <laughs> Take him all the way to his back. Now I can hear sometimes you can get like a knee, uh, a near leg cradle here. More often than not, we're just swim this arm up, get the fall here. Okay. Other important piece here. I need to make sure I'm pinching this in the whole time. If I don't, and I let him get this elbow out, when I start to run, he's just gonna post that far hand out. No, I'll post his hand on the mat, post that mat. When I when I start to run it, just post your hand on the mat. Here, right? He can post and stop this move. Whereas if I keep this pinch, come back up, okay, and here. He can't post out anymore, okay? So this is so, so important. Prevent that post. Again, same exact setup. Here, here, both the arm hit, open my hips. Okay, now change my level. Shoulder goes below his collarbone. Here, okay? I'm kind of like next to this trap. Okay, and the chin comes behind the knee, and I'm stepping at the same time, same side leg. Now I just run my feet, keeping that hand on the armpit, pinching him in, okay? It's also important that I run my feet the whole way through. His body has to hit before my knees do. If my knees hit first, he can recover his position. So I run my feet just like a double leg until his body hits. Then I can hit my knees, adjust it to fall. Okay, one more time all the way through. Here, 